Hey guys, it is Tuesday. I hope everyone had a great Memorial Day. Um, I didn't do anything for Memorial Day. Sat around being lazy and we did have two friends that came over. So then we ended up going out and getting something and like cooking a little something. But other than that, nothing major for Memorial Day. Um, but I had to come do a quick video on my way to work about these doggone bonnets. Like... They on my nerves about these bonnets on our heads and us wearing these bonnets on our heads. Like, I don't know where this is coming from. I guess somebody did a post. Somebody said something. Now somebody want to say something about bonnets. At the end of the day, bonnets and pajamas. So, I don't know how y'all feel. To each his own. At the end of the day, I feel like leave people alone. You know what I'm saying? Ricky smiling them. They was on this morning talking about, oh, you don't see Asians wearing bonnets. You don't see Indians wearing bonnets. You don't see what? That's because they got hair. Not that we don't have hair, but I mean, they, they don't have a tendency to have naps. Let's keep it real. They don't have a tendency of having naps or nappy hair. We have a tendency. I'm not walking out. The, if my hair is not done and it's just sticking up all over my head, and I don't have a, and I, I don't have a perm or nothing. Like, let's say I take these braids out. My hair is not done. I'm not walking out the house like that. See, an Asian person, a Vietnamese person, a Chinese person, their hair is stuck slick to their head. So if they want to get out the bed and run to the store or walk out the house like that, they can without looking crazy. So I was like, when I was listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show this morning, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Of course you don't see them doing that. They don't even need bonnets. They don't even need to tie their hair up at night. <clears throat> As African American women or even mixed women, we have different type of hair. We have hair that has to be tied up or done. A Caucasian, Asian, sometimes Trinidadian, uh, what else he said? Whatever. Chinese, them women, their hair don't have to be done. It can be done, but it don't have to be done. Even if you're all natural. Even if you're all natural. Because I'm not saying your hair necessarily has to be done. I'm never that type of person. But even if I was all my daughter, all natural. You're not finna just get up out the bed, hair matted down everywhere, and go run somewhere without a bonnet or a scarf on your head. I'm not. That's not me. I don't ever walk out the house looking any instant kind of way. I will put on a bonnet, and I don't wear bonnets like everywhere, but let's say I just need to run down to Family Dollar real quick, and I'm not going nowhere else for the rest of the day. And my Family Dollar is like down the street from my house. Like I could walk, but I won't. Um, I may throw on my bonnet right quick, run down the street to Family Dollar, and come back. I may do that. I'm not finna just walk out the house with my hair sticking up on the top of my head or my hair so thick I can't even get it in a ponytail. I'm not just gonna walk out the house like that. So I'm like, what is everybody's problem? What are y'all talking about? Because if we walk out the house looking crazy, you gonna talk about that. Now, pajamas, I have never walked out the house or went anywhere in my pajamas. I've never been that type of person. I walked into Walmart, Walgreens, Winn-Dixie, different stores, and I see girls in there with their pajamas on and that has never rubbed me the right way i'm not i i can throw on a maxi dress throw on a dress i can throw on something but i don't need to be going out the house in my pajamas now that i feel like because they were saying bonnets and pajamas are for the bedroom yes pajamas are for the bedroom a thousand percent i'm with you on that that's just me i'm not going anywhere not even down the street to the family dollar in my pajamas first of all <clears throat> I don't have pajamas. I don't, I have like two pair of pajamas. And the reason I got those is for when we go out of town to visit my husband's family in Georgia. Most of the time when we go is cold. Number two, um, to have something decent to walk around the house in after I take my shower and stuff. Because for me, I don't wear pajamas at home. So I don't have pajamas. So I had to... Um, get me at least two pair of like pants pajamas so when we're out of town um i can have something decent to walk because because we may take a shower and then we may lounge around again and snack some more talk some more have family time 
and so and I may be ready to go ahead and take my shower so I have two two or three pair of pajamas just for that other than that those pajamas don't come out don't get worn I don't wear pajamas so I can't walk out the house in my pajamas because I don't wear any um but I've seen girls do it and I'm just not that type of person hold on y'all hey guys sorry about yesterday somebody called then I ended up at work and got thrown off but what I was saying about the um bonnets is ain't no way in the devil i'm finna walk out the house with cornrows in my head string sticking up you know how after you take your braids out or you take your lace front off and you know they braided your hair down and um it's not a neat braid after having a lace front on for a month or having braids in for a month or two so i don't understand why they messing with us in our bonnets i cannot stand to see a woman come out the house with her hair sticking up all over her head i mean i've seen it and I can't stand it. Put on a headscarf, put on a bonnet. And I don't know who the heck they talking about, but I have like six bonnets and like 10 headscarves. Cause they was talking about, oh, they smell, they stink, whatever. I don't know who, who Ricky Smiley and Monique talking about. I wash clothes once a week, sometimes twice a week. My bonnets and scarves get washed every time. And I don't wear the same bonnet and stuff every night. Like, and especially if I get gel or something on it or whatever, I put it in the dirty clothes basket and I grab another bonnet. But if I know I'm running out the door to go somewhere, I grab a new bonnet. Like I open my um draw thing and I'll get a new bonnet, not the bonnet that I slept in last night. If I need to run down the street to the store, I'm going to grab me a fresh bonnet. Like, what are y'all talking about? They must be seeing some people in the stores looking ragged D. When I say ragged D, they got to be seeing people looking right. I mean, the people they describing, I don't know what they talking about, but they must be sitting out of pajamas. Yeah, I've seen some people. There's a puddle right there. I've seen some people come out the house in some pajamas that they should not have come out the house in. And yes, my seatbelt thing is but bing it, and I'm going to buckle up. I just pulled from the gas station over here to Dunkin' Donuts. That's why I didn't buckle up, but I will. I wish I can unhook that stupid thing. Yeah, but I don't know what what I don't know who they seeing in bonnets and stuff, but um uh baby, when you see me, you see me in a fresh bon in a fresh clean bonnet. Not no dirty dingy bonnet from last night. I'm not going to the store with no dingy bonnet. I'm not saying people don't. Even if I put on a head scarf. I make sure that there's nothing on it. If I'm running out to the store, they need to leave people alone. And men need to shut up. Men, y'all need to shut up. Cause y'all don't do, y'all don't have to do what we have to do. So y'all need to just shut up. Get my duck and Let me get a small butter pecan iced coffee, with cream and sugar, and whipped topping. Whip, yeah, whipped topping. Uh, yeah. A small butter pecan iced coffee, cream and sugar, and I want whipped cream on top. Thank you. 
Huh? Yeah, it's so pretty. My hair? Yeah, oh, my good. daughter practicing. She's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She just yeah, practicing. Like the yeah, she just yeah. practicing on my head too. <laughs> In between yeah. style. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I gotta tell her because everybody's asking, and I'm like, she's yeah, just I practicing. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. See, like in the medical field, I wouldn't mind it like that. Yeah, uh, and it's out of the way. Yeah. 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 Just curl like wet, like I got wet. Yeah. yeah. She just rolled the ends and put them in some hot water because it was straight, and then she Ooh, curled she it. How old is she? Twenty. She wow. get, she getting there. She getting there. <laughs> that is so perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody keeps asking me about my hair. Y'all don't mind my edges now. I'm putting that growth, growth stuff on there. I'm, I'm putting my oils on there. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. But, um, you know, baby girl. Baby girl. Oh, look at the little dog, y'all. Baby girl hooked me up. Because I'm getting ready to get my hair done again. But when I want something simple, I let her, you know, kind of hook. Oh, Lord, child, you want my coffee? Uh -uh. No, you can't have that, baby. <sighs> I let baby girl hook, hook me up when she can. She's not fast. And I feel like she did them bigger than what I would have liked. But she did a good job. And I got it up because I don't want anything to hit my eyebrow piercing. So I keep putting it up, you know, because I don't want anything to hit my eyebrow piercing. So they say it takes eight weeks to heal, and I'm trying to keep it from rejecting. So I keep everything away from it. I didn't put any makeup around it. Like, I probably look retarded, but I stopped my makeup right there. I'm, I keep putting my hair up. I'm sleeping on my right side. I'm, like, trying to. I haven't hit it yet. I have not hit it. I've been cleaning it three times a day, like the guy said. I haven't hit it, haven't dinged it, haven't banged it. I'm so happy with that. So, anyways, before I go back to work, um, I mean, before I go clock in to work, that's what I wanted to tell y'all about the bonnets. Um, nothing interesting going on. I may try to walk in a Dollar Tree one of these mornings. I may try to walk in a Dollar Tree and take y'all in there. I'll see. But nothing major going on. I just wanted to finish that bonnet conversation because it's been everywhere everywhere now i'm not going to wear my pajamas but my bonnet and my scarf if my head looking ragged d your girl wearing her bonnet and her scarf point blank period don't care what you say period all right let me get into work go ahead and get into work and i'll see y'all later on this week